So in today's video, I'm going to be testing out contrast paints versus Army Painter Speed Paints when going over a metallic base just to see what those results look like and testing out a couple of different colours. I'll be using a silver base and then just painting on either the contrast paints or the speed paints and then just doing a comparison as I get towards the end. And this is just part of a new series of videos that I'm putting together just to test out where contrast paints shine and also where Army Painter Speed Paints shine. So first off, I was actually quite surprised when it came to the results of this, so a bit of a spoiler straight away there. And that's because when I've done the contrast paints versus speed paints on quite a lot of other stuff there's not been a massive difference they have some kind of I guess pros and cons for each of them but when it came to painting over metallics one of them was a clear leader at least in my opinion so as I go through this comment below which ones do you think are better and also let me know do you want me to do like a full breakdown of all the contrast paints and all the speed paints over a silver base and do you want me to try it over any other bases um, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can put that together so first up I hit them with a black to undercoat them and and then I airbrushed the Vallejo Silver onto this as well, just to try and get a smooth texture. I was going to try and be a bit more specific of where I sprayed it and then do like a full paint up, but then I figured it just makes sense just to go full silver and get all the coverage so you can kind of see in all the nooks and crannies and all of that jazz. Now, the colours I used for this, so for the contrast paint, I tried to match them as close as I could to the speed paints. Made a couple of errors, but nothing too glaring. First up was Warp Lightning versus Plasmatic Bolt. Now the plasmatic bolt came out a lot more minty than I expected, um, but yeah, it was a pretty close match. Next one was contrast Yandan yellow versus a speed painter Zilot yellow or Zilot yellow. Moving on to ultramarines blue versus cloudburst blue, and basilicanum grey from contrast paints versus speed paint grave lord grey, <laughs> and the final one. Blood Angels Red versus the Absolute Cursed Blood Red by Speed Painter. I didn't quite capture this on camera here, but actually when I was trying to put it in, the ball bearing must have got stuck. And as I squeezed it, the kind of the top bit, the, the kind of the dropper bit, burst. And there was red everywhere. Now, waste not, what not, I tried to soak up as much as I possibly could, but I ended up with stained jeans, a stained painting mat, and a stained carpet. So when people sit there and say that these pots are worse, Bear in mind, these ones sometimes explode, so do be careful with your speed paint. So yeah, they're really frustrating, but I suppose worse things have happened. So kicking it off, let's go with the greens. Now, with these ones, I think I prefer, I guess, the colour of the Warp Lightning, but then I could probably get a better match in terms of the speed paint. It's just a little bit more minty with that plasmatic bolt than versus the Warp Lightning from Contrast Paints. And this is where the kind of consistent theme starts to come through. With the speed paints, they look a lot smoother, in my opinion at least, than the Contrast Paint. The Contrast Paints almost look as though they've been painted on. They look a lot darker and that colour is certainly more saturated. You see a lot more of it. Whereas more of the silver starts to shine through on the speed paint and it looks more I suppose metallic at the end of the day the contrast paints you definitely probably want to go back in and hit them with a dry brush so that is the green moving on to the Yandan yellow versus zealot yellow and to be honest this gives it I suppose a nice golden effect if you're going for that sort of thing I don't really like it at all I think this one out of all of them is probably the worst although it gives that nice golden effect it just I don't know, there's something off about it. You know, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree, but certainly wasn't my favourite out of the lot of these. Also, out of all five that I did, this one was probably the closest. I think that the contrast paint gives a little bit more consistency versus the Zealot Yellow. With this Army Painter Speed Paint, on this one in particular, you start to see how much wetter and how much more runny that um, like the speed paints can be. So you can see going towards the bottom of this one, you've got a lot of build up towards the bottom of that mace there or the hammer um, around the hands. There's a lot more pooling at the bottom of sort of like the, I guess the dress and everything else. There's a lot more pooling of the Army Painter Speed Paint. It sometimes happens on the contrast paint, but it's far less pronounced than it is on the speed paint. Out of all of them, it stands out the most on the Zealot Yellow, and I guess it's just a runnier paint. So it gives it that nice kind of golden effect. Not a fan, but I guess if that's what you're after, then this could work out for you. Moving on next to the blue. And I actually like both of these. I feel like the Ultramarines blue from Contrast Paint comes out, again, a little bit more blotchy than something like the smoother finish of the speed paints. But I do quite like that light blue. It just looks just relatively nice. However, going across onto that Cloudburst blue, 
I really like this. It looks like it's a proper dark blue armor and you've got a sort of on the highs and everything around like the gauntlets and the pauldrons and then the sort of like the shoulder guards and everything else. There's just some really nice highs there where the silver really starts to poke through. I think this one is definitely one of those that if you hit it with a nice silver dry brush it would look like this really kind of nice dark blue armor that's kind of been battle worn and everything else. It's almost got that effect anyway so and the speed paint for this one I think looks really good. Next, we've got our grey, so the Contrast Paint for Silicarnum Grey versus Gravelord Grey. Now this one I think would be one of my favourites if I do go down this technique of using it in the future. The Basilicanum Grey, again, with the contrast paints, does look a bit more blotchy than the speed paint. It does come out really nice, so again, if you do have one of the contrast paints and you don't have the speed paint, it's still going to be one to go with. Both of these give off this really nice dark armour, so this kind of like really hard worn steel. They look fantastic in my opinion, you've got some really good darks on there, some really good highs as well, which makes it look like that silver's kind of poking through from battle damage and everything else. And yeah, on both of these, I really like them. The Basilicanum Grey comes out that little bit darker, whereas the Gravelord Grey by Speed Painter just shows a little bit more of the metallic sheen beneath it. And yeah, I like them both. They're really, really good. Slightly smoother finish though on the Speed Paint, but that seems to be across the board anyway, so not really anything new there. But definitely one of my favourites out of the lot of them. Now, moving on to the Blood Angels Red versus the Blood Red. Now, both of these look good in my opinion. There's not too much blotchiness on the contrast paint versus some of the other ones. It's a really quite a nice consistent feel and um, not quite as smooth as the army paint speed paint towards the top. But both of these give off this really nice, obviously, blood red armor. I would say that the speed paint one is a little bit more pink in comparison to like the blood red from the contrast paint. So depending on what sort of thing you're after, either of these could work. So your contrast paint definitely gives more of a, a blood red, sort of like a vampire-ish type armor. Whereas the speed paint, it definitely looks again more metallic, there's more of that shining through. But you might want to hit it with a second layer to really get some of that red and make it pop. Now obviously you can probably see from the B-roll here that I am using more of the blood red by speed paint. That's just because it went everywhere and I wanted to use up as much as possible. And that does cause some pooling issues, but actually not too much. It does run towards the bottom of them, so sort of towards the bottom of like the dress and obviously the boots as well. It's gone down onto the base, but I have used a lot of the speed paint there. However, again, it just shows off the fact that they do sometimes get runny and you do need to control where they're going, especially on a smooth surface like the metallics. However, both of those, in my opinion, look good. I probably do prefer the contrast paint, though, with this one, just because it's a little bit redder rather than this kind of, like, pinkish finish. So that is it. They're my five colours. And I've got to say, in my opinion anyway, there's a pretty clear lead when it comes to the speed paint. I think they just look so much smoother, and they show off a little bit more of that metallic from underneath. So it does look more like it's kind of like a... I guess a coloured metal or anything like that, if you hit it with a dry brush, I think they would look fantastic. You could probably get the contrast paint closer to it by using some medium or something like that just to kind of thin it down, and that would then give that bit more of a sheen coming through from the undercoat that's been used. It would also probably give a bit of a smoother finish, but out of the pot, speed paints do, in my opinion anyway, a better job over metallics than the contrast paints. Obviously a few things to take into consideration if you are using the speed paints is they can be more runny but that's just kind of part of the course with these by now. So if you have some good brush control and you don't slap too much on like I did in a couple of these, you should be fine. Also as well, some of these colours do come out a little bit more translucent. So depending on how much saturation you do want, like with the blood, obviously it is a little bit pinkish and then with this plasmatic bolt it definitely came out a very kind of mint green. But yeah, overall I think they come out really smooth and they look fantastic, especially straight out of the pot. Again, contrast paints look really good as well. Uh, and I guess it depends on what sort of thing you're going to go for. Contrast paints, they give that darker finish. Hit them with a silver dry brush afterwards, it would definitely give this really nice sort of like battle damaged and worn magical arm or coloured armour, so another one to be kind of looking at in the future. Now let me know in the comments, which do you prefer? Do you prefer the speed paints? Do you prefer the contrast paints? And have you done anything like this in the past? Also as well, do you want me to do a full video where I do like all of the speed paints over silver and all of the contrast over silver? Because maybe I can put that together and see what kind of, I guess, the colours to go for or not. And also I was wondering, do we do like a gold 
base and kind of paint over that and see what sort of results we get. Not entirely too sure what that would come out like, but who knows? Let me know in the comments if that's something that's interesting to you. So I hope you've enjoyed that video and hope it's helped some of you. You know, if you are wanting to paint up some metals and you're wondering how the like, contrast paints are going to work over those and speed paints and which ones may be the one to invest in if you're in that market. I'm going to be doing a few more videos like this as well where I directly compare things like contrast paints to speed paints just to see kind of where the strengths and weaknesses are versus each other. So if you've got any ideas, anything you want me to do with the two sets, then by all means let me know, throw it down in the comments below and I'll do my best to put that together. In the meantime, stay safe and I'll see you soon for some more 3D printing and painting content. Bye!